In the you Philippines, if you want a magic superpower where you're able to stop cars, this is it. The only way how to cross the road is to hold up your hand and you know, just kind of like, hey, please see me, I'm a human being crossing the road, please don't run me over. And then also indicators are non-existent. Like What's up Philippines? Welcome back to another video with your host Nelly. I'm so happy to see your smiling faces and today we are reacting to nine weirdest things in Filipino culture. I don't know what this guy is talking about. Looks like a foreigner, but we'll see. We'll see and maybe we can comment on it while we're watching. We're watching it together, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. Today I want to talk about the nine weirdest things I've come across in Filipino culture. Let's go. Okay. John Smulo, never heard of this guy? Ah, the California expat. All right. All right, so what are these weird things? Well, first let me say weird, it just kind of means a bit different, right? What's weird right. to us in Western culture is a bit different over here, vice versa. Disclaimer. But from a foreigner's perspective, I want to share with you the nine top things that I think are a bit weird. All right, first All right. thing is treating other people on your birthday. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, say that I'm back in California and it's my birthday and friends say, hey, let's go out for your birthday and celebrate. All right, let's make this happen. And then we go out to dinner and we get whatever. And we and split the at bill. at the end of the day, I pull out my wallet knowing that my friends are gonna say, what are you thinking, dude? You're not paying anything, it's your birthday. Oh, but here in okay. the Philippines, it's total opposite of that. If it's your birthday, you're expected to be the one that foots the bill. Oh. Oh, okay, the opposite. Exactly, right? It's a little bit weird. So over here in the Philippines, you really have to think twice about your birthday coming up. Oh, yeah. You have to start budgeting. <laughs> you have to start saving money up because the more people you invite, the nicer yeah. place that you go, the more that you're going to be spending. The more expensive spending. you now, will for be. me <laughs> over here as a CEO in the Philippines running my businesses, I was also told that it is normal if it's you as a CEO that you're gonna buy a big lechon. Now listen guys, I'm a vegetarian. I never had lechon <laughs> in my life. But over here, I was told that's just kind of a common thing. If you're gonna invite people to your birthday that you gotta put on a big spread and all the rest. Or listen, maybe they were just saying that because they wanted some free food. Maybe. Also, they're coming here <laughs> in the Philippines. But this is one of the things that I found very different in the Philippines. If it's very your birthday, true. you are paying. Now, second thing over here that's a bit weird in the Philippines is that every meal, every meal, yeah, I'm pretty sure has to go with rice. Has to have rice. So because rice is life. Lunch, dinner, all yep. the snacks in between. Rice is really important over here. Yes. I see people they'll he got order it. <laughs> like a big thing of like tuna or whatever it is, like this expensive meal even. And if there's no rice, they're just gonna let it sit there. Why? Yeah, it's because they not need be some eaten. rice in their mouth along with that piece of meat or whatever yeah. it is that they're eating over here. Rice is life in the Philippines. I always joke with the people here. Filipinos need three things to survive. Air, water, rice. And rice. <laughs> Next thing over in the Philippines okay. that's a little bit weird is their use of tabo. Tabo. People. Okay, in case you don't know, but Tabo is the alternative shower. The thing that you use in the province because sometimes there is no proper toilet, there's no proper shower, so you use a Tabo to just wash yourself tabo. or flush. People here always tease me about how I pronounce that, T-A-B-O. Tabo is used if you gotta go to the bathroom. Yep. You're just gonna use water instead of toilet paper or yes. it's used if you need to water the plants. We can survive without toilet paper in the all Philippines. all kinds of things that you might think of over here. They just use this, it's just like a little pitcher thing like this that they're gonna use for everything imaginable over here. It's kind of a one size fits all tool, whether you're in the bathroom or you're in the garden. However, Oh, okay. And there's also the, the spray thingy at the toilet. I cannot live without it anymore. It's part of my life. I cannot. It's just, it's so convenient. Is it really that weird? Actually, I think it's a pretty smart idea. And a lot of foreigners over here are like, why don't we use water more for things like going exactly. to the bathroom? Why don't we use bidets more? All the different things that they have over here. So sometimes weird turns into actually pretty smart. And yeah. this is one example. Of I love that. it. 
Now, another thing over、uh, here in the Philippines that's、agree. weird and it's just weird is that they don't necessarily use a fork and a knife if they gotta like、yes, cut a piece of steak、true. or something. They use a fork、Spoon、and, and a fork. spoon. Now, I don't know. Including me, I already adjusted to spoon and fork. And then, even like when I'm somewhere where I'm not in the Philippines and I use spoon and fork, people are looking at me. I'm like, oh, sorry, this is like, you know, I got so used to it because、uh, that's how I eat in the Philippines. If they're like afraid of using knives or what the deal is over here, just like <laughs> a knife would make a lot more sense in a lot of situations. But here, it's pretty rare to find a knife. I'm not just saying it's. You know, rare to find like a steak knife. I mean, like. My guess is in the Filipino food culture, there are a lot of sauces, right? So you want to use fork for the meat and then you just want to spoon the sauce and the rice because you can't really do that properly with the knife and then you don't have that much space on your fork. It's just like my guess. I don't know. Let me know what、kind、you think、knife. it is for. A spoon over here is often used in place of a knife. Speaking of weird ways of eating, The next thing that's a bit weird for me here is how much Filipinos will use their hands、yeah. to just eat. I mean, I was kind of raised with my mom like smacking me if I、oh, don't use、wow. my hands while I'm eating. But over here, it's really normal. Now, often they'll have like these glove, plastic glove things that、yeah. they'll put on their hands. With seafood? They'll use that to eat. Or they'll have something called like a boodle fight that'll just be like、uh, yeah. banana leaves spread. spread out big on a table and they'll put a bunch of rice on it and all kinds of food. And just like it'll be a communal meal of people just using their hands to eat this meal together. But hands are still in fashion. It's、yeah. cool to be a two year old, a one year old in the Philippines when you're eating. And I gotta say, and even as grown up, as a grown up, you're weird, allowed. But it's kind of fun. Okay, my take is I grew up as a Bosnian, mainly in Austria, where we eat with knife and fork and like, we are like super nice by the table. But in my culture, we pass over the table, we eat with our hands, with our mouths full. It's kind of like this whole, I don't know, fun experience touching your food, feeling it, nibbling on it, having your little、mm, chicken wings. It's the best. But it's kind of fun. All right, next. Raising the hand. So, when it、oh, comes like、to crossing the, the road,、up. Filipinos have kind of a weird tradition. So, this is what happens you're going down a crazy traffic area in Cebu City, like I live, or wherever it might be. And if you just go to cross the road, sometimes even if it's like a pedestrian crossing, people are、yep. just going to like, nobody stops. They're not going to stop for you at all. However, if you do the magic sign, the magic people sign. Will stop. So, this is the magic sign. This one's for free. If you do this,、yeah. then people will stop. Well, mostly. Be careful if you're crossing the road in the Philippines. So, for whatever reason, it's like, I don't know, sometimes people are going to ask what's your superpower, and people will say, like, invisibility、mm-hmm. or, you know, ability to fly, whatever it is. In the、you、Philippines, if you want a magic superpower where you're able to stop cars, this is it. You just gotta、yeah. lift up your hand, and for whatever reason, people listen to that. They just might run you over、yeah. if you don't put your hand up. Remember, magic superpower sign. So, in the Philippines, it's just a bit weird. Why not just see that there's a human being? It just doesn't work like that. And that be the reason why you're gonna stop. Why do people gotta raise their damn hand like this? In order to get people. Okay, he is very right. I have experienced it many, many times. The only way how to cross the road is to hold up your hand and, you know, just kind of like, hey, please see me. I'm a human being crossing the road. Please don't run me over. And then also, indicators are non existent. Like, you can use indicators, but what people most of the time do is they hold out the hand out of the window and they're just doing this to signalize, hey, I'm turning. So it works better than an indicator. In the Philippines. Stop with traffic. All right, what's the next weird thing here in the Philippines? It is the way that people interact with you if you're in a conversation and they want to talk b a c So say that I'm in my I know what's coming. here in the Philippines, like I am right now, and I'm talking with somebody else, and another employee comes walking in and they want to get past. First, they'll kind of look like this, like deer in the headlights, like. Oh my gosh, I gotta pass two people talking. Awkward.、They'll、kind of like、yeah. look back and forth. What am I gonna do? And then inevitably,、yeah. they kind of bow down. Okay, okay. I have, to, I have to、sorry. show you. Sorry, 
It's like the unforgivable sin is the past two people while they're in the middle of a conversation over here. But really, when it comes down to it, it's not so weird. Okay, yeah, this is a thing that happens so, so often. It's like, like he said, you see two people talking and somebody wants to pass and it's not like, oh, excuse me, can I pass? They just do this. Excuse, excuse. <laughs> and that's how it goes. It's actually pretty cute. Filipinos that are being so polite, so yeah. respectful, not wanting to interrupt people during a conversation. And so they are gonna kinda yeah. bow down and walk past not people getting in between. very apologetically. Yeah. Next weird thing here in the Philippines is people are kinda funny with rain. Oh! If it's raining outside, people are gonna say, sorry, I can't come now, it's raining. Ah, uh, it's maybe the traffic. And what's the problem with that? I always tell people I'm waterproof over here. I don't have any problems, but Filipinos often feel that if they go out in the rain, they are gonna get sick. I say, so hmm. if there's water falling down from the sky, it's gonna make you sick. And they'll say, yep. I'll say, well, do you get sick every time you have a shower? I never heard nope. of this, actually. Kind of the same thing. And I've even had people say, well, there's acid in the rainwater and it's the acid oh, that's gonna get you sick. Okay. Filipinos are a little bit weird with rain. Don't worry, guys, it's not gonna make you sick. You're gonna be just fine. Okay. Pasalubong, yes. Last but not least, I find it a little bit weird over here how Filipinos Wait, are when somebody goes on vacation. Weird? They're gonna say, Pasalubong. Now, what's Pasalubong? Pasalubong is the kind of gift that you're gonna bring if yeah. you go somewhere else. So, even it's, if you just go away like two hours to another place, or certainly if you go on a longer vacation, Everybody that knows you is gonna say, pass a lubang, mm. and that's gonna mean, buy me some free stuff. So that might be a fridge magnet. Often that's gonna be food. Sometimes when you're at the airport in the Philippines, you will literally see people, like if they Pack go boxes. to Dao, where like durian or pomelo is, you know, really good there. There's gonna be someone ahead of you, like with a, just a big a something or another to be able to put boxes of like durian or pomelo. Yep on it to take Confirmed. it back and pass <laughs> for other people wherever they're coming back to. So this is serious business in the Philippines. Yep. If you go on a vacation, you're gonna have the cost of that, plus you probably double it just with all the pasalubong you have to bring back for everybody. So for okay. me, I love you Filipinos, but there's some weird stuff over here, <laughs> much of it that I've come to love and it just makes me smile. But I'm curious if you're a Filipino or a foreigner, what are some things that you think is a little bit weird over here? Drop me a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. And as always, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. All right, nice, nice video. Very insightful as well, because I can agree to a few things that he mentioned. And me as a foreigner who has been living in Manila for four and a half years, I know all of the in and outs. I've traveled all over the Philippines as well. If you want to see some content of that, there is my channel Nelly's Life, which will pop up here, I guess. But yeah, as a foreigner, you need some time to get used to it because it's just a different culture. But once you get used to it, it's actually, you know, part of your culture as well because you adapt. And my my opinion it's always a matter of integrating and just understanding and communicating and I personally love these differences I don't think there are any crazy differences that I hate maybe I don't know but uh, in any way let me know in the comment section down below what you think is some weird Filipino thing that you have experienced or maybe you as a Filipino might think that foreigners think about it differently than Westerners yeah I'm curious to know I'm reading in the comments I'm replying to you guys and also i am asking you if you like this content please subscribe give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell for more content that was it for today i'll see you guys next time here on what's up Philippines?